Denver Broncos, 22. Their new Drew Brees is still available. Makes a lot more sense here, probably, than than eight. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead. No, no. no they want to go up and get the guy. Yeah. <laughs> Onyx, new Denver Bronco quarterback. I, I, Welcome back to the most professional sports channel on YouTube. Welcome back to Swivel Chair Sports. I'm your host, Zach Zuckerberg Merkel. Here with my co host today, Aaron. Go and say hi, Aaron. Hi. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you like our content, leave us a comment and let us know what you think. But other than that, let's go ahead and get into it. So, in this video, we'll be doing our second version of our 2024 NFL mock draft. Uh, by the way, before we get into it, we will be streaming the first round of the 2024 NFL Draft uh, April 25th on our YouTube channel. So if you aren't doing anything for the NFL Draft, make sure to stop by. Uh, watch it with us. But other than that, we'll go ahead and watch get... us watch it. Watch we us watch it. To... Yeah, we won't be able to just watch, like stream <laughs> it. But uh, we'll be watching it with you if you if yes. you'd like. So make sure to stop by. But Let's go ahead and get into our second version of the NFL Mock Draft. We already did our first a couple weeks ago, uh, doing our second now, and then we'll have a last one, fina uh, final version, coming out the week of the draft, I believe, probably the day before, maybe the maybe two days before. But uh, other than that, let's go ahead and switch over to the simulator real quick. All right. <laughs> so here we got our simulator once again. We are picking for all 32 of the first pick around picks of the NFL draft. Uh, so without further ado, uh, we'll each kind of be giving our argument for each pick this time since there's only two of us uh, and just, just kind of see how it goes from there. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So with the first pick, the Chicago Bears select just as Bleacher Report predicted Drake May out of North Carolina. No, uh, they're probably taking Caleb Williams, right, Aaron? I mean... Yeah, they're yeah. saying that he's going number one. Kind of like kind of consensus. Yeah, I don't think there's really any debate. Uh, he's been the number one consensus, number one pick uh, since I believe the end of last season, if not the beginning of last last season. So, uh, really, no arguments there. I mean, sure, some players have risen up stock wise, like JJ McCarthy and maybe even Jaden Daniels over the last year or so. Um, but Caleb Williams still seems like the number one guy going into the, the 2024 draft. So, uh, number two, Washington Commanders, probably also in the market for a quarterback. Uh, in my opinion, uh, they go Jaden Daniels out of LSU. Is that you agree? You want to go ahead and give your explanation yep. this yep. time? Most, one of the most dynamic quarterbacks in the draft. Um, you know, it's, it's debatable whether or not he reads the field better than, than Caleb Williams. Um, he, he's got the, the run game of like a Lamar Jackson. So he's just, he's a real special player that, uh, if he can get it right, uh, in between the ears, uh, he's got all the, all the physical talents in the world. Yeah. Dude has a supreme athletic ability. So, um, that can take you a long way by itself in the NFL, let alone the, the arm talent he possesses. So, uh, number three, I know we had a little bit of a disagreement here. Um, in my opinion, I think the Patriots see that their guy in Drake May has kind of fallen draft stock wise over the last few months. Uh, they believe they can get him later on in the draft. And so with that being said, uh, they trade back, kind of make a little bit of a deal, which I'm not going to do it yet until you give your argument, Aaron. But uh, trade back, make a little bit of a deal with Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota wanting to jump up and take J.J. McCarthy. I think they trade their two first round picks to the Patriots for number three so they can take their guy JJ. But what are your thoughts? Uh, I don't hate it. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, I personally think that they're going to kind of buy into the hype of JJ McCarthy and get their, you know, their Josh Allen to, to compete with in the same division. Um, so that, that's kind of what I, what I have them doing, but you know, I could see them also. That's totally the Patriot way, uh, getting two first-round picks and, and uh, kind of being smart, getting all the draft capital and uh, drafting more players. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, we both agree that J.J. McCarthy is probably the third quarterback off the board after all of the hype around him this offseason. So uh, with that being said, I mean, I'll just go ahead and stick with the Patriots at three and have them take J.J. Um, since we both agree that he's probably going three anyways. So. Uh, next, we got the Arizona Cardinals. I think another one we probably both agree on. Uh, Marvin Harrison Jr., number one receiver this class far and away uh, since the beginning of his sophomore season. So uh, Cardinals losing a lot of receiver depth this offseason. Rondale Moore to the Atlanta Falcons. Marquise Brown to the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, need to replenish that receiver room, and I think uh, they would – had not hesitate to take the number one guy in the draft. So next we got the Chargers, which I think I have them taking Joe Alt, lineman out of Notre Dame. Yeah. I have them taking Joe Alt with this pick to help kind of shore up the offensive line around whoops around Justin Herbert. But uh what did you kind of have the Chargers taking at five? I have them, you know, they're also hurting in the receiver room. So yeah. I had them uh, taking the next best receiver in Malik Neighbors uh, out of OCO. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense. Obviously, they also lost their number one and two receivers this offseason. Keaton Allen to Chicago. Uh, and then, oh, shoot, what's his name? I'm forgetting his name right now. Mike Williams. Mike Williams went up to uh, New York, I believe, with the Jets, right? So um, is that right, the Jets? I want to say the Jets. I don't remember. I don't know the Giants. I'm pretty sure it's the Jets. But uh, Malik Neighbors makes a lot of sense for the Chargers to take. Younger, cheaper receiver talent uh, that can really help Josh Allen. Although it is Josh Allen, Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert, same guy. Uh, I think it is a total um, Harbaugh move to go offensive line, though, to start, start building that. So that pick does make sense, too. Okay, let's go ahead and take Joe Walt, then, because... I like Joe Alt to, to, to Los Angeles. I think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, next, number six, the New York Giants. I had them taking receiver here, I believe. Yeah, I had them taking Roma Dunze, though. I think Neighbors fell, falls a little bit. But, um, yeah, I had them taking receiver to help, you know, with their apparent franchise quarterback, Daniel Jones, that I <laughs> used to be an apologist of and, and now can't really find any way to defend. Um, but I believe you had them trading out. Is that right, Aaron? At six? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I had them trading with the Vikings, Vikings trading up. Um, I don't, I don't think they kind of, like you said, them, uh, trading up to three. I don't think that they can move up that far. So I think they go to their next best option, uh, and go to six trade with the giants and take Drake may who's got, you know, kind of like everybody has said, um, he's got arm talent. He just needs to figure out uh, his footwork, polish his footwork, and uh, maybe get a little bit smarter in taking care of the ball. But um, strong arm, and he's, he's definitely got a lot of upside. Do you have them trading both firsts to move up, I'm guessing? Uh, Yeah. Oh, would you say they're taking Drake May? That's right. Here we go. Drake May to the Minnesota Vikings. Congratulations, Minnesota. Uh, hopefully, you know, he can have a strong tutor in Sam Darnold, who's been through a lot, seen a lot of, a lot in his NFL career, despite, you know, not winning a lot of games. So uh, pick number seven, Tennessee Titans. I believe I had them taking an offensive lineman. Yeah, I have them taking... Uh, oh, here's my big moment. I've been practicing this name all, all day long. So, uh, <laughs> Alumiwa Fashanu, or Fashanu. Uh, I have them taken... Thank you, thank you. Please, please, thank you. Uh, I have them taken uh, Fashanu um, out of Penn State. I have them taken offensive offensive tackle, uh, and I think they like Fash, uh, Fashanu over Fuega. Uh, but what are your, your kind of thoughts on the, the Titans at seven? I mean, I also had them taking offensive line. I had them taking Joe Alt because he was still there. Ah, um, wow. But, yeah, I mean, either one, yeah. Cool. And then the Falcons. So I have them standing pat, taking uh, Dallas Turner here, first edge off the board at pick eight. Uh, I think, obviously, they've really improved the offense this offseason, bringing in Kirk Cousins, I believe Darnell Mooney as well, uh, and then Rondell Moore from Arizona. So they've really improved the offense this offseason. 
obviously good running backs in Tyler Algier and Bijan Robinson. Uh, they could maybe you could argue maybe improve their offensive line, but I think uh, in this case they go to improve the defense first and take edge rusher Dallas Turner. So uh, what are your thoughts? Um, I also have Atlanta taking Dallas Turner, but I have them moving back to do so. I have them trading with the Denver Broncos. Oh. This is where it gets kind of tricky because I could see, um, you know, Bo Nix falling, but I could also see Sean Payton really falling in love with the slightly more mobile Drew Brees, uh, Bo Nix. So he's super accurate, um, great in the pocket, real calm, doesn't doesn't blink under pressure. So I I could see the Broncos trading up to get Bo Nix. I could see them falling or Bo Nix falling to them. I could see them expecting him to fall and them trading back. So the Broncos can really do anything here, but this just kind of fit my narrative of At- Atlanta wanting to trade back and get some more draft capital. I just, I don't see them trading up for Bo Nix. I don't think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would just be shocked. I would be absolutely stunned <laughs> if Bo Nix went top 10, but uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe. Uh, Chicago at nine, I had them taking a receiver to pair with, uh, their new franchise quarterback, Kayla Williams. I think I had them. Yeah. I had taken neighbors, uh, since he was still on the board in my draft. Uh, who'd you have? Did you, is that, you probably had them take a receiver. Yeah. Roman Dunes is who I had. Who would you say is better? Probably neighbors. Yeah. I, I mean, it's kind of a toss up. I think they're both really good. Yeah. I think it depends what you want, right? But Yeah. Um, New York Jets picked 10. Uh, they've shored up the offensive line a little bit this offseason, brought in, I think, three or four new guys through either trades or free agency. So uh, they've done a lot to hopefully improve that around Aaron Rodgers, um, as well as bringing in some defensive talent as well. Uh, aren't they the ones who brought in uh, Shaq Barrett, or not Shaq Barrett, uh, the other guy from Philly? Oh, the edge rusher from Philly. Leonard? Maybe? Armstead. Arm, I mean, no, I don't think it was Armstead. Maybe they did bring in Armstead. Not Armstead. Um, Reddick. Hassan Reddick. Yeah, Hassan Reddick. Thank you. Because uh, they lost Brees Hall to Philly. And Hassan Reddick went to uh, went to the Jets. So, uh, with that being said, I had the Jets kind of... Uh, Aaron Rodgers loves tight ends. He loves tight ends. Uh, and with the best tight end prospect... This offs or this draft still being available in Brock Bowers, I think they take Brock. Only the last four drafts. Yeah, so I think they take Brock Bowers to uh, make Aaron Rodgers happy. Uh, they already have a number one receiver, so in uh, Garrett Wilson. So bringing Brock Bowers to kind of be like that Travis Kelsey type of tight end for Aaron Rodgers, I think makes a lot of sense. So, what do you think? Yeah, you convinced me of that beforehand. And I, I think the Jets are probably going to look to not make the same mistake that the the Packers did and <laughs> not give their franchise guy weapons. Yeah, no, I agree. So at 11, uh, this is kind of, this this is where my draft kind of took a, a left from yours, I guess, because <laughs> I do not yeah. have the Giants at 11. I had the, the Patriots my, trading mine, back. My, mine were the last yeah. early. <laughs> so, uh, what, what, I think the Gi- Giants I had taking Roma Dunze at six in mine. He's still available here. What do you think the Giants need here at pick 11? I think they go offensive line, uh, specifically a guy who can kind of really go in and start right away at uh, like a, a guard role. And that's uh, Troy Fatanu out of Washington. Okay. I'm cool with that. Now, the Broncos, I had trading back for Bonex. Not, not up. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> so, so, I think because the Colts, which I don't think you can really see here, but the Colts here are over here at 15 somewhere, uh, they really need cornerback. Uh, depth, just really any help in the secondary. Uh, but Terrion Arnold sits here out of Alabama. 
really. Probably the one of, if not the highest rated corners in, in this draft. So I think it makes sense for another team that really needs a corner to trade up to 12. And I think that that team is a desperate Philadelphia Eagles who has two second round picks uh, trading up with Denver to get the 12th pick, giving them 22 and 50 just to get Terry on Arnold out of Alabama. Because they really need Makes some sense. cornerbacks. All right. Pick 13. We got the Raiders, the Las Vegas Raiders. Could use a lot of a lot of things. Most notably, probably a franchise quarterback. And I think, uh, Aaron, I convinced you, finally, of, of this coming true. I hate it. Michael Penix Jr. out of Washington. The silver do rag is going to go so hard. And I'm going to hate it as a Chiefs fan, seeing him just tear our defense up twice a year, potentially for the next 10, 15. So. Yeah, but uh, here's where we differ. I had them trading back. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, I should have waited. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's fine. All it's right. fine. I, I had them uh, swapping with Cincinnati. Oh, um, okay. I think Cincinnati does some sort of deal. Um, since Higgins doesn't want to be there, they they package him uh, in some sort of pick swap and swap oh. with uh, the Raiders, and they go up and they get a a young receiver who they won't have to you know pay here in the near future, um, and they get uh, Brian Thomas Jr. Oh. Wow, that would be something. I'm not going to lie. If the, if the Cincinnati Bengals traded T. Higgins to the Raiders, that's also terrifying for Chiefs fans. Uh, T. Higgins and Devontae Adams on the same same receiving core is scary, especially if you do end up getting Penix at 18 or whatever. Bro, that would be, oh, that'd be a nightmare. So I, I like that trade a lot, actually. Uh, whether or not that uh, that's enough to get T. Higgins... I'm not sure, but that is a scary thing to think about. Yeah. So now we got the the Saints at 14, um, where I think they could go a lot of different directions here. They need just about everything. Um, I mean, shoot, they could even, if they really wanted to, go quarterback. But uh, I think they go tackle to hopefully shore up what I think they hope is a, is a good quarterback situation with Derek Carr. Uh, with uh, Talise Fuaga still on the board, I think uh, it makes a lot of sense for them to go there. But uh, what do you think about the Saints? I had them going tackle as well. I had them going Fashanu. Your your favorite guy, Fashanu. Yeah. Because um, he was still there. But... Yeah, Fashanu. Fashanu. Uh, now we got the Colts at 15. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, need DB help. Uh, cornerback is really deep this draft. Um. Quinion Mitchell, still on the board, really highly touted out of Toledo. Uh, so I think, in my opinion, they go Quinion Mitchell if he's still there, 15. But what do you think? Assuming Terry on Arnold's gone. I had, yeah, I mean, I had I had them taking Terry on Arnold, but you had the the trade up to get him. So I, I think I, I in my first one, I had them taking Quinion Mitchell. That's so what I thought. I yeah. can see that too. Uh, Seattle here. You had Mims. I know as a whole we had somebody different. I can't remember what defensive back it was, but uh, I think I also have them. Oh no, I haven't taken Byron Murphy, uh, D tackle out of Texas. But I'm okay with Mims here as well. I think it makes sense to improve the offensive line around Geno Smith, uh, or maybe Sam Howell. You never know. Um, but yeah, Amari Mims makes a lot of sense here. Jacksonville Jaguars at 17. I also think they need tackle. Uh, J.C. Latham is still available. That's who I have them taking. Um, so, yeah, what do you think? I had them go DB and DB. get Kool-Aid McKinstry. Yeah. 
Okay, where do I have Kool Aid going? I think I have him going to the Dolphins. Yeah, I have him going to the Dolphins at twenty one. So I could see uh, if the Jags really like him, uh, uh, go ahead and maybe take him early. So I'm cool with Kool Aid going seventeen. I really like him. And the Jags could use some DB help. So uh, Cincinnati at eighteen. You had him trading up to get uh, mm -hmm. who was it again? Who they grab in your draft? Brian Thomas. Brian Jr. Thomas Jr. He's still available. I have them taking Patanu, um, offensive line help, because uh, they could use it. But uh, do you think if they still have T. Higgins at this point, would they still go receiver, you think? Because they still assume that they're going to trade him? And if so, would they go with Dunze if he's still. God, uh, if you got Roma Dunze and Brian Thomas Jr. still. There, that's, yeah, that's you gotta take crazy. one of them. Which I one think would they you... go Roma Dunze? Yeah, I can't believe a Dunze fell to 18 in this draft. We're terrible, this. we're really bad at this. Um, I didn't have him fall that far. Oh. Well, I didn't either. <laughs> I had him going six. <laughs> uh, this is just a series I, of unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know what the heck happened. This has turned into a cluster, but um. <laughs> Rams, 19. I had them taking uh, not exactly a one-for-one -one replacement for Aaron Donald, but somebody who's really good off the edge, Jared Verse, um, just to kind of, you know, at least somewhat replace Aaron Donald. A little bit. Because, I mean, you can't replace him wholly, but if you can replace a little bit of that uh, that pressure he gets off the edge, uh, then I think Jared, and Jared Verse is still available. I think he's a great choice. So, what do you think? I had them kind of doing the same thing, trying to replace that that hole that Aaron Donald's left. Um, but in a different way, I think they kind of go interior and go Byron Murphy out of yeah. Texas. Yeah, he wasn't available. Otherwise, I would have had them take him and mine as well. But uh, since I had the Seahawks taking him, I think, um, he was gone. But I do like Byron Murphy as well because he's who I would have had had he still been there. Uh, next, we got the Pittsburgh Steelers at 20. They got rid of a receiver this offseason. Um, and they are I don't know if they're 100% sold that Pickens is their number one guy. And Brian Thomas is still available. He's who I had going in my draft to Pittsburgh. Um, just because they, they need receivers. They need receivers now. Uh, hopefully Russell Wilson can do something this season, if not Justin Fields. But they need receiver help to help them somehow. <laughs> So, what do you think? I just there's one player in that draft or in this draft that just screams Pittsburgh Steelers to me, and that's Cooper DeJean. Yeah, <laughs> it, I don't know what about it. I mean, obviously, Iowa has board. very similar colors, yeah. but he just he seems like a total Steelers player. See, I think I think he's a Packers guy. Strikes me as a Packer guy. I don't really see it. I'm not going to lie. No, no. Packers need <laughs> some DB help. I, I mean, no... they do, but I don't see him uh, as a Packers guy. I, li I see him as a Packer guy. But what do you want to do? What do you want to do with Pittsburgh? Uh, Whatever you want. It's fine. I just think um, if Brian Thomas Jr. still I, here. I think receiver makes sense. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I think receiver makes a little more sense, especially with Brian Thomas Jr. somehow still left on the board. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're not going to do I mean, he is 18. This is funny. So, uh... I mean, this is this is the combination of the two, so obviously it's going to get a little screwed up. Yeah. Uh, Miami Dolphins, um, 21. I had them taking Kool-Aid McKinstry here, but he's gone now, so... Uh... Uh, what did you have have them to? Did you have them going DB or something else defensive? Uh, I am going D line. I mean, D -line. they really could go anything. Uh, well, I will say if Jared Verse is defense. still here for him, I hope they take him. Uh, I had them taking Johnny Newton. Uh, Johnny Newton, Illinois. Yeah, a little high for me on Johnny. I had him fall into thirty one. But uh, I could see. I mean, they're gonna. I could definitely see them taking any, just about anything defensive. They need just about every position on the defensive side of the football. So, uh, Denver Broncos. Now that they traded back to twenty two, Bo Nix. I mean, they lost guy. Wilkins. Oh yeah, so Dolphins. That, that's kind of my. Reason. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense for sure. I mean, they lost a lot of edge rush help too, so I think Jared Burst would also make yeah. just as much sense. 
the injury and yeah, <laughs> yeah. the agency. Yeah. Uh, Denver Broncos, 22. Their new Drew Brees is still available. Makes a lot more sense here, probably, than than eight. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead. No, no, no they don't <laughs> want to go up and get this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Bonix, new Denver Bronco quarterback. I had the Eagles taking Quinion Mitchell. That's that's what I had. Quinion Mitchell, yeah. Open that secondary, yeah. Yeah. Vikings at twenty three. Who are they taking? Uh, I have them taking J.C. Latham, uh, tackle out of Alabama. This is quarterbacks. I like it. We'll, we'll go with that because stupid thing won't let me trade, right? Um, <laughs> Dallas Cowboys pick 24. I had them taking tackle replacement Tyler Guyton out of Oklahoma. Uh, Dallas is also known to just like Oklahoma guys, so... I could definitely see Tyler Guyton being on their radar um, right up the highway. I would know. I live near it. So um, what are your thoughts on Dallas at 24? I have them taking tackle as well. I'll, I have them going Graham Barton, um, but uh, Barton. Guyton makes sense too. Green Bay Packers. This is where my guy, my Packer guy, Cooper John. What do you think the Packers do at, at uh, 25? Do you think they go secondary? Surely they do, right? I had them uh, taking Bakhtiari's replacement, same as the first oh, one. okay. Taking Jordan Morgan. Jordan Morgan out of Arizona? I'm okay mm -hmm. with that. That's cool with me. I think it makes – yeah, it's all right. I guess it makes sense to replace Bakhtiari, too. Uh, Tampa Bay – I have them taking edge rusher because they kind of need some some edge rush help. Uh, I believe they lost Shaq Barrett this offseason. Um, well, Jared Burst is still available, so they probably take him now, but I had him taking Latu originally. Uh, what are your thoughts? I had them going uh, O-line just because it's, you know, so deep. Uh, I had them going Fuaga. Out of Oregon State, but, oh, but he's gone. I, I like the, yeah. So I I like the the edge rush play. Yeah, I mean they 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 cut Shaq Barrett this off season because he wasn't cutting it. So uh, maybe get a little bit of a better effort out of one of these rookies this off season. And if Jared Burns is still available, he's got more effort than just about anyone. So Arizona, they a little help. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then um, Levante David and all them. Uh, mm -hmm. Arizona Cardinals at twenty seven. I had him taking another edge rusher. Obviously, Latu's still here, so they, if he's still available, probably go him. Uh, I originally had him taking Darius Robinson out of Missouri um, just because it was between him and Chop Robinson. Uh, I thought it was really just kind of like a pick whatever you prefer between the two of them. Um, and I had him taking Darius just because I'm a little bit of a homer, to be honest. But uh, what do you think Arizona does here at 27? I had them taking... D end as well, but I had verse still there, so mm. it's a lot too, probably. Cool, with lot too, then Buffalo Bills. I had them taking uh, what in my draft was the second in a row Missouri player taken, Ennis Rakestraw Jr. Uh, but in this case, there's Cooper DeJean still available, so I could maybe see him going Cooper DeJean as their Davis White replacement if he's still there. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I had them going DB, so we're on the same page there, but I had them going Mike Saner still out of Michigan. Mm. If Even if Cooper's still there? I didn't have Cooper still there. I, right. I could see them taking Cooper, or I, I'd probably see them take Nate Wiggins over Cooper DeJean. Dang. I, have, I have the Chiefs taking Nate Wiggins. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, to kind of be their luxurious sneak replacement, they're very similar builds. But Detroit Lions uh, need off. I think offensive line helps always good, and you've got the best interior guy, probably, in uh, Jackson Powers Johnson still available. So I think they go uh, JPJ. What do you think? Um, I had them going DB. That makes sense too. 
They lost. Uh, the I've been team. going TJ Tampa out of Iowa State. Oh wow. What if Cooper's still there? <laughs> He'll probably take that. Uh, that is another team. <laughs> that oh I yeah, say yeah. I like, I like, I like, I like Cooper DeJean on the Lions. Actually, that's yeah. kind of nice. I like that. <laughs> uh, Baltimore Ravens. Obviously, at this point, they haven't signed OBJ, and from all signs, it, it, it point to OBJ going to Miami probably. So uh, they've also, I I read recently, and I don't know if this is true because it was on social media. Um, the Ravens have spent more draft capital on receivers than any other team in the last like five years. So I can see that tree trend continuing. And what do they have to show for it? Yeah, I know. I don't get it either. Um, and so I mean, Hollywood Brown, I guess, was technically theirs. Uh, you got. Well, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to get that. In. Didn't really pan out. Obviously, they traded him for a reason. Yeah. But I could see the Ravens going receiver here. If that trend is true, I could see it continuing. Uh, go with Donnie Mitchell or Adonai Mitchell out of Texas. Um, best receiver available, potentially. So what do you think Baltimore does at 30? Um, I had them taking Edger and Cooper out of A&M, replacing Patrick Queen. Uh, but receiver makes a lot of sense as well. It's just as long as Lamar Jackson has been there, they've had like one receiver and a tight end, and then the rest is the run mm-hmm. game. Yeah, they just kind of make do with everybody else. So that that's why I have them taking a, a linebacker, but wide receiver wouldn't surprise me. I for Lamar's sake, I hope they take receiver. For the Chiefs' sake, I hope they don't. <laughs> um. <laughs> now the Niners here I, take a kicker yeah take a kicker uh the Niners here I had taken Johnny Newton D tackle um just to kind of you know Niners are gonna Niner and the defense is what they do best so figured they get a defensive guy and Newton was probably one of the best guys available overall so uh what do you think the Niners do here at, at 31 I, I had them take Guyton because mm. uh, he was still there and he can play kind of <laughs> right tackle for now yeah but yeah i mean anything defense other than like a linebacker wouldn't surprise me uh what position do you think ooh, uh... ooh i think edge get somebody to go opposite since they let uh chase young go and get somebody opposite uh what's his name Bosa. Yeah. Well, then just for, the, just for the sake of it, let's go Darius Robinson. Our guy. Our guy out of Mizzou. Uh, Chiefs here. 32. Last pick of the first round. Could go a couple different directions now that uh, I think something actually did come out about Rasheed Rice today. I can't remember what it was. Um, the warrant was issued for his arrest. Oh, that's lovely. So they could definitely go receiver now. Um <laughs> Uh, that sucks yeah that that stinks yeah fucking idiot um do you think they go receiver then with that being said i haven't Uh, taken i haven't going receiver anyway yeah i I think they're really happy kind of with their corner room right now and not to say that they can't you know get one later um i had them taking adonai mitchell but i could easily see them going with a Troy Franklin, Keon Coleman, or Xavier Worthy, any of those three? Yeah, I don't know if we, because we got Marquise Brown, I don't know if we'll go like Xavier Worthy now. I think we kind of see Brown as being our deep threat. Um, I could see Troy Franklin or Keon Coleman to kind of be our uh, possession guy. Uh, I know Keon Coleman's had a little bit more hype around him, so I'll just put him for the sake of it. All right, now for the summary of our draft. We have our totally janked up our just absolute disaster of a draft. Uh, we only had two <laughs> trades. We had the the Giants trading back with Minnesota for pick eleven, uh, giving them Minnesota pick six, and then Denver trading back for pick twenty two, giving Philly pick twelve. Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels, JJ McCarthy, Marvin Harrison, Joe Alt. 
Is there anything that I mean? I mean, obviously, there's going to be some of these that are just like I don't think Drake May. I don't think the Vikings are going to trade up to get Drake May personally, but who knows? Um, let's there's see. no way Roman Dunze and. Yeah, there's no way there's no way Roma Dunze falls to eighteen. That's just absurd. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Um I dude, the more I do these, the more I think Brian Thomas is is gonna be a twenty something pat uh pick overall I, I, later. I think I had him what I had him last time. Yeah, I had him twenty six last time. Yeah. Yeah, Jared Verse, I don't think is gonna fall to twenty six. That'd be surprising to me. Maybe, maybe we're we're but um, that is what's a must. Overestimating how many of these teams are going to go line. Yeah, just because we it, getting beaten to our heads, how uh, deep this draft is at O line, maybe. Yeah, I definitely think. I definitely think we have a lot these good receivers and DBs. Yeah, I think we have a lot more tackles here than than what are probably going to go. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. This is sort of this is probably sort of a combination of what we think and team needs. Yeah. Yeah. Started off decent and then turned into a disaster real quick. But, yeah. Um if you enjoyed it, maybe you did. Hopefully you did. Tell a friend. Tell maybe a you should. We were idiots. Probably. <laughs> yeah. We are. Yeah, that's that's also true. It's also true. That's totally fine too. Make sure to just comment below how stupid we are. It's totally fine. In a way, um, please. Yeah, yeah. Just, just be, just be nice about it. We'll respond. We'll be like, "This is why we're stupid." And then you, we can both be on, our, on, on with our days. But uh, other than that, I think that'll do it here with the most unprofessional sports channel on YouTube, Swivel Chair Sports. I'm your host, Zach Zuckerberg. Merkel here with the host today, Aaron. Go ahead and say bye, Aaron. Bye. All right. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Other than that, deuces.